can hear you. Not playing. Don't hear you. Just sitting there with a loot in your hand. He's sitting there with a loot in his hand, minding his own business. Damn, all, all of a sudden. sudden. <laughs> All of a sudden, he professed his love for the world. To his pig. Yay! To his pig. Alrighty. Yeah. Until he got stuck. Get ready, ready, ready to go, go live. I am live. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, on the radio. You know what I'm talking about. Clyde on the set. Everybody, this is Laz, and this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right, bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Shrouded Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure. Welcome to today's show. Today is Tuesday, June 20th, 2017, here inside Shrouded Avatar. How's everybody doing today? Welcome and join us. Yeah. Yeah, don't everybody chime in at once. Yeah. Okay. I hate interpreting yeah. the news. Well, that's what we're here for. You just have to sit back and listen, you know, and chime in if you have any commentary. Which, of course, we welcome you to do every day right here. We are the only show on the air that welcomes and invites you to come join us right here live. Ask your questions. Come join in the discussion. And Just hang uh, out tell with us, us what's going on in your world. Yeah, come hang out and enjoy the shenanigans and hijinks that go on in the Discord here. And you can reach us by going to nbnn.info and clicking on the discord app link or just uh in your browser type in uh, discord.me slash nbnn we'll whisk you right on into our room into the green room excuse me hey, what are you doing stop stop messing up the set will you? i'm, I'm dropping things. things dropping things <laughs> now of course uh, before we get started i want to remind everybody the Reddit AMA with Richard Garriott and the Portalarium team is ongoing for the next hour out there. And of course, uh, I've uh, included a link in today's tweet. And let's throw a link out there for everybody uh, on Twitch or wherever they may be. Yeah, and I think today we're going to end up spending our day going over the Ask Me Anything just because... That gives us good well, information and, and good you know, discussion that's points. Ongoing, but uh, well, we do have it, a big milestone to cover today. Um, under normal is? coverage, uh, right. one thousand consecutive mm -hmm. posts. Well, one thousand. <laughs> I wouldn't really call them consecutive yeah. because there has been lots of days. Posts. They're all no. consecutive. They come one right after the other. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Step, you're killing me with those. Uh, okay. So so I guess I guess we need to do the stand-up co corner then? Well, there's plenty there in the AMA. It's still ongoing, so people are going to be asking questions. And uh, I figure we can either cherry-pick a couple out of them during today's show because uh, there's going to be plenty of questions to cover over the next couple of days, of course. 
And uh, of course, Star Long is back in the offices. He's out there answering questions. And uh, we are very happy to see Star back and welcome back from uh, your vacation as well. We hope you had a great time out there uh, traveling and just uh, relaxing after that sickness. Yep. Thank you. So, and, uh, ooh, we hope he enjoyed his vacation in España. He was hanging out in Spain for a couple weeks. Yes, he so, was. So, so, uh, so, are we going to do stand up? Then, then do ask me anything because you kind of waffled on that. You, you said well, again, could, could. Uh, there it, was it, other stuff that we have to cover. Uh, of course, we still had the uh, changes about that in the K to cover. Um, there's a lot of questions. Again, we're never going to cover it all in one day. Uh, Chris has got a little bit of an update out there. Uh, we have SodaCon updates. We have all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, just all of a sudden, today became another news day. So, I pick a place and let's jump right on in, Jackie. Okay. Well, well, let's let's pull out the, the minor soapbox real quick with the death and decay and Chris's attempts to assuage that a little bit because this is this is going to be a soapbox because i mean i i think decay is bad for the game um and i'm looking for where the good information is on that ten thousand bonus other than chris's small post on his daily blog from last week and it was partially in the tech talk the return of the daily xp bonus the current plan is that you'll get a daily login bonus of 10,000 xp added to your adventurer pool and adventurer and producer pool and producer pool. yes yeah. and that isn't 10,000 adventurer xp but rather just xp added to your pool in the pool that's right to counter Retail. decay losses and also to help lo lobies level up skills. Uh, hey, well, but, yeah. you, you know what? If if he's having to do that, that means decay is bad. And not only that, decay. it's too hard for a lobie to level up their skills. Yeah, and I bad design. About a hundred k every time I die. Ten k ain't gonna do nothing. Now, of course, there's a lot of commentary on this. And oh, absolutely. We're not going to read the whole thing because, again, it's uh, one of them things that, um, and you can see up here, there's uh, six pages of it right now going oh, on. I, now, I've got to find off, that, that post. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this would this benefit way. players like yourself and myself, um, technically. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't expect us to be sitting on a lot of duration Lumps. of the gameplay. Now, Lumps on a log. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would benefit you. Yeah. But I mean, also, 10,000 points. How quick can you burn through 10,000 points on a crafting table? Um, that yeah, would. Five minutes. If, if I have uh, 200,000 XP in my pool. That is actually going to be 10 crafts or 20 crafts for 10,000 XP. Is it because, be the, 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 because, well, no. It, the more XP in your pool, the more XP is used per craft. Now, I've got then, a question uh, so, that's being asked out there. Yeah. And of course, we, we got we to gotta be, uh, yes, I'm paying attention to the chat. Is we pay attention to the chat 24 Sometimes. hours a day, even when we're not here, we're watching the chat. But, uh, no, we, we just talk to each other, we never town. pay attention to Twitch. Yeah, we, we never talk to anybody out there. Where yeah. the best town to hang out in, like in you, I would have Britain and uh, yeah, whatever. And no, 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 we, just, we expect that. And of course, if you want to come on in, come join us in Discord. Uh, we are happy to chat with you, and of course, we're happy to answer questions. But the best place to hang out is right here on this slot with us. Um, sorry. <laughs> that, that's because we're, we're here most of the time doing a whole lot of nothing 
other than crafting Owl's Teleport Head, and Recall School. Uh, is probably one of the hottest NPC towns. Uh, most of the uh, actual business is actually transacted, or has been in previous uh, updates from Chris. Most of the uh, transactions and sales happen in Owl's Head. Now, there are plenty of other towns out there, and uh, some people have uh, role-playing gigs set up. Uh, you can always check out our POTA. Um, they have all sorts of stuff posted. There's plenty of player-owned towns where they uh, like to uh, ask that you role-play when you're in the towns. But, of course, uh, we role-play ourselves, a couple of idiots who sit around talking to ourselves and uh, answering questions. But no, uh, Owl's Head is probably the hottest. Uh, next after that, I would say a lot of people hang out outside or around Brittany. Um, again, right now, large cities have a lot of lag. And uh, that causes, I mean, you go stand outside of Brittany and you'll see you know, parties happen sometimes. Uh, especially if Merc's hanging out there. The, l let's just stand on the over overworld map and yeah. have a dance party. Absolutely. Yeah, it would be nice if we could put hot tubs out on the uh, overworld like that. <laughs> temporary, Blitters. temporary, yeah, temporary Blitters. parties. Yeah, well, nice. you know, people are still asking for um, drop anywhere stuff. You know, remember you used to be able to drop a pair of pants or an old pair of leather armor and just drop it in the street, and anybody could just come along and pick it up. Uh, you know, we should have stuff like that. Well, uh, owner, owner, house ownership is a different question or a different well, <clears throat> area altogether. First, all the really good places have Hardy been taken. gone since <laughs> since day one. Uh, since slot selection, all the prime real estate um, is pretty much, and that's not true. Uh, I've seen some opening up. There's actually a few free lots. Well, in I, I, pull, in, I, in, I, I pulled up some lots recently. So, that, I mean, there was an open lot in Virtus the other day. There was an open lot in, yeah. Bra there's a couple open lots in Bramble, I, which are story related scenes. Um, so, like, it, when you're looking at the overworld map and you see a banner over the town, that means it's a story related scene. And those are going to have much more people tra traveling to them compared to the scenes without a banner over the top of them. Um, now. But, th but there's still a lot of open places, although the ones that people think that are going to be high traffic areas, um, that's like Brittany Estates, Brittany... Uh, gardens Brittany central all of those are already taken as well as like most of the stuff in al's head um i some... would have to suggest that you would look for one of the uh, market towns uh, places like uh, new britannia market Denovia market yeah um and other towns in hot locations i'm getting ready to open up a marketplace <clears throat> uh, and of course this has been something that's been in planning for a long time but with yesterday's announcement uh this brings a uh, renewed vigor to uh, my initial and original plans um but there you know, i'm planning to open a marketplace out on the west coast on longfall now most people don't travel out there because the storyline now pushes everybody to the east coast in sultan but once we go live everybody's going to have that choice of where to start and with the new edition of uh, new Lunar Rifts appearing coming up in the next release, uh, it's going to make fast travel a lot easier, and it's going to give people a reason to have uh, shops in all different locations throughout the world. Uh, take Jack and I, for example. We have locations scattered throughout the land. We don't just rely on the one lot here. Um, I mean... How many different places do we have vendors, Jack? I mean, I, I think uh, it's it's like ten different Nobia places. Market, New Britannia Market, uh, yeah, Snug Harbor, uh, Sultan, Ardoris, uh, all, all over the place. Ardoris, yeah, I mean, yeah. Do we have any? You know, you know we don't have any you know, vendors. It's Blackrock. Do you have any vendors in Blackrock? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just not but, worried about it. It's like the, I mean, but, we yeah. have so many vendors out there that it's it's one where it's like some of those vendors don't have a lot of sales, and that's where it's like we can sit there and say, oh, this is really not a high traffic. But that's one where you also have to take into account the storyline not being completed and people waiting for storyline in order to actually start doing the the questing and doing a lot of travel and yeah. when yeah it will always be changing especially as like new play people come into the game and things start to change and like priorities start to shift like the only reason that yeah. Owl's Head is really popular is because it was the first big town it was the first protected town it had all the merchants that you needed and it was uh it was the yeah. first. It was Plus, the first big thing. The Hidden Vale was the only thing that existed back in the day. There was yeah. no Novia when we started out. So, um, and that was that's another story. But now, to answer your next question, um, no, the game is not going live at the end of next month. The storyline is planned to be complete by the end of next month and yeah. that is planned it does not mean it will get complete by next month they'll probably still be adding polish right on up until actual launch um, but the again i'll uh, shout out that the reddit ama is going on right now through uh, two o'clock the next 45 minutes so if you've got questions that you'd like to ask directly of the developers head on over to the links that we posted earlier and uh, ask those questions and make sure that that's 2 p.m. Eastern time that it's ending. Yes, Eastern Or time. Uh, 1 Central, which is the same time that we're ending this show. Imagine that. Correct. But the uh, rest of the answer to that question is that the planned release is later on this year. And again, that is planned. Uh, whether we actually do that, I expect it to finally hit this year. Uh, it would be nice to coincide with the year that the uh, 20th anniversary of Ultima Online and the year that Shrouded Avatar was released would be the same year. That would be really nice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, not at all. It's, but uh, it, yeah, bring the, the questions the, on. Yeah, the next question is uh, a low reagent cost suit. Is that something that's actual? Uh, possible in game and yes it is extremely possible uh, there's actually an artifact that you can hold that uh, reduces your reagent cost and I know people that dual wield them Justin um, um, well, actually, 600 no, life. Which, negative 600 dual life. Wielding is a 200 percent plus reagent cost she's now working on building a reagent free deck because yeah. of the 200 percent that's actually like 400 percent no no reagent no usage. no that's she, the negative she, on that anyway it's a, plus, it's a plus usage no i thought she also had the the one that was the negative usage well, that yeah, makes sense we were out hunting okay. the other night and she's so like she, i gotta make a reagent reagent free deck man I uh, okay so, so the she, reagents are killing me so she actually changed what she was doing but there is a way to actually build a reagent free cost Absolutely. suit um and but depending on what you're doing there's all kinds of ways around that and what did i just miss yeah all sorts of different builds all sorts of uh different things you can do um and again there are everything from uh artifacts to player made stuff that will uh reduce your reagent cost so uh, you can get additional buffs on armor pieces, additional buffs on weapons. Uh, so it is possible. Negatives. Negatives. Pos you get both. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. You get a big negative with that stuff. Depends yeah. on how, how glass catch, cannon you want to be. The, yeah, yeah let's see, I've got a setup yeah. here. I mean, I'm sitting right now naturally at, uh, what is it, 4 something? 432. But I mean, I can put a couple things on and all of a sudden I've got like 200 hit points. But I tell you, all my other stats go through, go through the roof. More. Oh, yeah. Glass yeah, cannon. Put on man. a ring of brill. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me break them out of here. I'll drop them right here on screen. Is uh, Am I wearing the ring? No, let's get this ring. Yeah, I'll show you exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I take the ring of brittle brawn. 
This has got a plus 36 strength, but it's got a minus 217 health. So immediately when I put that ring on, I drop to 259 hit points. I lose 200 hit points. Now, if I take the, uh, what is it? The lavalier, I think it is. I, I don't know where you learned how to read, but you have 284, not 259 hit points. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm looking at <laughs> it. Anyway, I take the uh, lavalier of the lamograph and put it on. That's got a negative, another negative 25 on that. And that drops me even further. So are you going to put it on? Uh, you've got 257 now. Uh, there it is. Yeah. 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 So with that, I get quite a few bonuses but of course yeah talk about the one hit one hit wonder you know is uh, you get whacked with that stuff but i tell you what if if and when i hit you know and then you can see when i take that off my uh tickle it's gonna tickle, it's gonna tickle. You, you, you've got your glass cannon set up yeah uh, but the, the system is completely classless so you can actually uh, level up your skills. I know some people that have 120% skill in certain things uh, and they're chugging along. Most most of the time it's people that do that or in like crafting stuff. Theoretically, um, it's possible to hit 200. That's the number yeah. we've been given to work with. 100 is considered a GM, uh, as in Ultima was. You get to 100 skill points, you're a grandmaster in that class. And um, but, but then we have a people lot running of around with 60 grandmasters. Yeah. Yeah, but then we also have the decay changes, which is where we started to pull off the soapbox a little bit earlier. Yes, when because you chimed in with your questions. Because in release 43, there's going to be a huge change to the way that uh, your XP pool is done. So if you have uh, below 80 in a school, it's only going to use what... Uh, below 80 is 50% of the XP uh, lost? 50%? Right. Was it 50% for 80? I thought it below was a normal drop. The, uh, the way it is now go is the way it will say below 80, no, 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 60 no, 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 and 80, no. I believe it was. i got to go find that, that post on Chris's. Where the hell Thanks. is it? He's back. Yes, he is. Welcome back. You, you didn't see that post earlier? Yeah, I know you saw that post earlier. I answered uh, it. Let's see. Who yeah. is? <laughs> okay, so... Um, Hey, it's on Chris's uh, work blog, and it's on the second page. But the 60 to 80 is one half the XP loss. 80 to 100 is the normal or decay whenever you die. 100 to 120 is double the decay, and anything above 124% is four times the decay. And it's there. When we're talking about pulling out the soapbox about decay, uh, this is every time you die. And if you think about what that's going to do to your ability to maintain your skills, it's going to be almost impossible to maintain a, a like, say, 120%. Per well, again, uh, you're not going to be able to pull off, turn everything off, and gain, gain, gain. You can do that, but you're going to hey. take the risks associated with that turn everything that you need on to maintaining and that should not be a major problem that's basically what he's telling you which is going to it's, eat up those points that, we, that xp pool is going to disappear yeah. very very quickly and i mean yeah. the decay is bad it is a Trish. bad mechanic it punishes everybody for doing everything the, the problem is the classless system without any caps I mean, there, there needs to be some sort of caps in order to actually do this. I would rather have much a cap, better. Yes. Yeah. And, and it's it's one where it's like, allow people to have 15, 20 GMs. There's no reason for someone to have 63 GMs. 
It really oh, is. They do. A- a- they absolutely. Do. And of course, uh, Edo's side here is saying, uh, <laughs> yes, it is possible to level them all to 100. But again, with the decay, um, the possibility becomes null and void because yeah. in order to do that, uh, open you just basically have, have to never die. Um, and if you can manage that in this game, you're God. If you can manage, manage to never, never die, die and gain all your points and keep all your points, that that's the loophole. Don't die. Try three times a day. How's that? Now, of course, we, we're forgetting to mention that Chris is also making the change so that the decay is split into three different deaths. So at first death, no you more. only get how much? Is That should be in the same it, note. It was half that. and then quarter, then eighth and it just keeps on going down so it so he keeps well, on I, I thought the math said by the time as blood zepp keeps referring to three deaths and you're back to your normal decay laws uh it's he mentioned it's three deaths but it goes on that's it's what i thought, I thought he, he, he gave you three uh, examples three. it yeah. was yeah. After so that, you've got the you've got the You've got your decay loss for a day. The first death is going to be 50%. The second death is going to be 25%. The next death is 12.5%. The death after that is 6 and 3 quarters percent. The one after that is... Yeah, so like each one becomes less and less, so it approaches zero. So Absolutely. First couple um, is uh, hurts. After that, it's yeah. Good. The first couple yeah. are going to be really painful. After that, it's going to just keep diminishing, so it's not as painful. But the the problem with that is, I mean, it's 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 still a bad idea. Anytime you really? hurt people, as far as their skill gains, um, just because they died due to, you know what? I didn't expect that ghost to spawn right there. While Oops. I was mining something, didn't expect those two yeah. ghosts to spawn behind me while I was yeah, fighting. I was like, no AFK, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and it's like and don't go FK, believe me. There's yeah. spots you think that's safe, ain't safe. No way. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, one of the interesting things that uh, we come to find out is that your crafting is not affected by this. It's only nope. is your adventuring skills that get affected by this. So for crafters, get out there and get all that crafting experience because you don't have to worry about that. So the 10k a day, does that for uh, both crafting? Yes. Yeah, you get in both uh, starting in release 43, correct. But I, I still decay like is bad. Back to uh, wipe. That would be really great. Reparations. We want reparations. Let's, <laughs> let's get out in the streets. Yep. <laughs> still We're bad. Watching Jack read read his messages there. We are. I, I was actually reading a prescription <laughs> label that I that I ripped oh. off the box so that way I can bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> because they're they're only and i was actually since I, it's actually the box and i ripped it off uh i was shredding it because I, I was bored you, you don't have it. anything better to do during our show to yeah really prescription yes. label box, right? you gotta start oh, doing heroin man <laughs> let, let me get my scissors to heroin you just got dick i know it's like I know. Go, go get some free pills. oh wait wait, wait, wait. My, my my ghetto sharps container is yeah, uh that's getting that's getting real rusty. ghetto man you, know, you, can, you can go spend 99 cents and get another two liter for crying out loud jack <laughs> <laughs> wow you're a real user i am i am a real user i mean it's like Dang. is that from yesterday oh a couple days i mean I then, then it's like <laughs> it's just okay it is more <laughs> well breakfast. There are, beside my bed, there are six or seven needles right over there. Yeah. And it's like, well, yeah. How, how many times a day well, do you actually have to give yourself insulin these days, Jack? Just so um, people know that he's actually got a medical need for this and he's well, not taking drugs. It, it, it's, it's, it's seven or eight shots a day. 
And each Does of the needles look like, like ground beef. I mean, I'm just uh, wondering. Uh, I don't. I don't shoot my ass. Uh, we know you're just wondering what his ass looks like, and I mean, if that's what <laughs> we get him to bear it. Of oh, course, he, he, you come out the hob blood yeah. or the be the uh, yeah, uh, soda con. You just may be able to get the answer to that question. Yeah, yeah my, my my ass doesn't take the little pricks. Stab marks all around the ring. <laughs> now, I, I did go to Hawaii once um, with the uh, with with a cop, and uh, and he's like, "Where are your track marks?" It's like, dude, I inject insulin. I don't inject heroin, so it's not going to be like on my arms. Yeah, but then it's yeah. like, you're not, you're not, you 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 look at my insulin into the vein. Yeah, it's like no, it's like, it's like it's all my track door. marks are on my stomach. Yeah, and it's like oh anyway. wait, now that I'm looking, oh I see them. Yeah, but so yeah, your stomach guys... looks like ground beef or hamburger meat. Oh my. Well, it depends on how how <laughs> how big the needle is. I mean, most of these needles are relatively small, so. I... Oh prick! You're gonna feel a little prick. This might hurt right, a little bit. Down. Yeah. Feel a You'll feel something. They're about as big as Led Zeppelin. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Let's not insult that shit. the needles. Yeah, but I but I just ordered two more boxes of uh, syringes. How much are they? Huh? How much are they each? You don't want to know. It makes me cry. Hey, hey, needle man. party. Just reuse them, man. Uh, well, okay. So I have done that a few times. It only works a couple of times before the the needle starts to get it a little bit dull. <laughs> it hurts a little bit, John. It hurts a little bit more. It hurts a little bit more, so it's like yeah. And that that's where that's where the alcohol wipes. It hurts. So I did it three times and punched her in the jaw. Alcohol wipes to clear clean them off. Yeah. All right, move. Are we ever going to talk about uh, again, the Ask Me Anything uh, stuff? Well, I was just going to say, a uh, quick reminder, the uh, AMA is going on for about another half an hour. And uh, let me just do this again. I believe it should still be there. Yes, it is. And we'll throw that link out one more time for everybody. Dun, 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 dun. So if they want to go check it out and ask uh, the boys some questions. And actually, I thought I saw Serafina actually ask, answer any question or two out there. Yeah, well, they're, so. they're, they are answering questions all over the place. Mom's like. answering questions. Chris is answering. Star is answering. So uh, if you got questions, uh, go on out to the uh, Reddit AMA there and uh, ask your questions. Now I'm going to just uh, throw this up on screen real quick uh, because there are loads and loads of questions. So if there's uh, something that you want to know, I'm more likely it's probably being asked uh, in this Ask Me Anything. And as you can see, as I scroll down, uh, loads of questions, <laughs> loads of answers going on. And of course, we will be covering these over the next couple of days. Too much to uh, cover. And if especially we with it ongoing right you now, think, I don't want to take away from it. You think the whole breast and, and, and junk body uh, customization at character creation is coming in? Hey, like, did, did they post that? Read um, the AMA. I'm all about the breasts. <laughs> I, want, like, I, I, I want like massive junk breasts. like hanging down the half. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to say that that's probably not going to happen. I, I remember having that discussion before with some of the devs, and <laughs> it's like. Uh, I'm telling you, the women want big breasts and booties. They want sliders. <laughs> Ask the ladies, and they will tell you. Well, I, I think it ended Asian up distorting. Too. It, it also distorted but, all of the other body parts and the clothing and everything else. And so it just, uh, the yeah. distortions Distortion. became really, really bad. I mean, the so way the height the is done is that just stretches armor it. armor would just start bursting at seams. That's uh, all. It's <laughs> <a problem. laughs> 
Probably. Until you do like the big kind of hole in the center, like super, let the uh, like power girl overflow it. Absolutely. Uh, coconuts. <laughs> you don't need no coconuts. Well, you need something. I think you're gonna need a little bit of bigger set of coconuts, but that's another story. Just for the areola, that's all. Just the bouncing and the and the moving and the shaking whenever they walk and run. You know, like if you've ever played any of the modern Asian fucking games, they all do that. It's crazy. Oh, they have like bad. their own gravity and stuff. Uh, well, I mean, if you spend any time watching any anime, I mean, the, the anime yeah, but I mean, physics in a video are completely game. screwed. <laughs> I'm talking about in a video game. Yeah. Physics engine, next. <laughs> it's like, what kind of physics engine is this? It's not. <laughs> we just oh. randomly added bounce. We just wanted the boobs to jiggle right. a lot. So let's, uh, throw caution to it. Let's just throw it right out the door. I got updates on SodaCon. Uh, I'm going to jump uh, right off to this real quick. Because I know a lot of people have been waiting to hear this information. And uh, did I throw the link in Discord there earlier? No. I thought I did. Oh, I thought I did. I did. It's right above uh, the last post. I like the, the, the Marriott right link? Marriott Link, yes, SodaCon Austin 2017. It's a standard Marriott. A lot of you Marriott's there. Stayed the first time? Remember Not where we really. stayed the second time? Oh, you weren't there. Well, we're doing it again. That's a good one. I like that one. That's too many players for one hotel to handle. Yeah. Ah, but see, the catch is this is just where the panels are being held. And of course, if you want to book rooms here, we have a bunch block. Right now, there's uh, approximately 40 plus people signed up. Um, and um, if we get another 40 more, we can accommodate them. But um, right now, as it is, we're getting close. We're planning for the amount of people who are already confirmed. And if we get a few more stragglers over the next couple of months, which we expect, um, again, don't forget the price of those tickets goes up the closer we get. Um, so uh, if you want to get in on this, you want to come on down. And again, a lot of people have to choose this year. Uh, there's three major events happening three right. months. September, oh, October, right. November is Dragon Con, there's Soda Con, and there's Hoblot. So uh, we got to we got to compete with the other events as well, um, right. and believe me, we're seeing an impact on that because there are people who are opting to go to uh, one, the other, or two out of the three. Um, there's so many events going on during that time that uh, some people can only afford to do one. It's been all at one time. That's all I can say. That yeah. would have been cool. Well, didn't you go for uh, your guilds uh, get together as well? Yeah, that was. For Halloween. Ah, okay. It was just the Halloween thing. Oh, so it's around the same time, though. Yes, in October. Yeah. Having it at one hotel and staying at another that's half the price. It'll be great. That hotel's not bad. Well, yeah, see, we like found also dollars. that uh, people do that. Uh, a lot of people see the room rates over here at the Marriott and they go, I can get a room cheaper. And they go for the Motel 6 that's 40 bucks down the road. So, Damn right. Uh, one of those reasons we've been telling people all along, don't wait for a hotel to be announced because well, it really the, the, doesn't matter. People are still going to make their own decisions and we've though. learned this over the last couple of years. So That but hotel has the information. The free breakfast that's where we're be too going. bad. I mean, if you're lazy. Hey, come on. You, you got free breakfast. We got the meeting rooms all day and night. We're going to set up the conference room for, as the hospitality room. So we'll have open bar available for people who are uh, paid attendees, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, yeah, we will have our own little private room where we'll have snacks and goodies. Uh, there will be meals uh, that are being covered uh, both uh, Friday and Saturday night. Um, by two of uh, Austin's finest restaurants. So, and Jack will laugh. Going, they ain't the finest restaurant, so I'm not even going to go there. What restaurants are you they? You got Burger King to cater? Tell them, Jack. A am I going to be like, oh, yeah. that place sucks? Yeah. No. no was, uh, where's the Italian joint? Well, that was pretty good. 
Is that the are same you referring one? to Nick's Italian? Nick's Italian is going to be catering one night, and okay. I believe uh, County Line is going to be catering another night. Uh, uh, okay, well, so, Waffle House it is, guys. Uh, there, there's no <laughs> Waffle House in Austin that I remember. Yeah, they don't name. have Waffle House there. I hope. There's an IHOP yeah. somewhere, but if you're if you're gonna eat if you're gonna eat pancakes and at the cart on the corner, That's if you're gonna you be eating pancakes in Austin, you have to go to Kirby Lane Cafe or Magnolia Cafe. You gotta go get kulachis. You don't want pancakes in Austin. There are two Waffle Houses in Austin, Texas. Never eat these shows. What you know? I only <laughs> lived here for like twenty Jack. years. J J Jack's Jack. not of the tin cup class of. Uh, Hey, uh, hey, 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 I, I only get quality establishments. In plastic and, cup. And, and, and that's, that's the most quality you need. I tell you what, right. you go to one Waffle House, you've been to them all. Same product in every Ta Taco single Bell. Ta Taco Fucking Bell. Amazing. Yeah. Scattered, yeah. smothered, covered, diced, chunked, and topped right there. Oh, yes. rounds of double order. Send them to the side. I'm good. Oh, and I'd like some raisin toast, please. Kur okay, Kirby Lane Cafe, what? man. Kirby and throw, throw a couple of eggs on top of that. Just give me some gingerbread <laughs> pancakes. Or if we go to Magnolia Cafe, give me a queso omelet. Now, I'm just curious as to why I'm seeing some people's names on screen today and why I'm not seeing some people's names on screen. Well, it's, 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 it's related to distance. I mean, no, Max okay. no, standing right there behind, behind you. I do not see his name. Someone stole my name. Who? Who, Alan? Yeah. You're, you're not facing him, maybe? I already, I already mm -hmm. informed him of that. I don't see it either. Hey, yeah. if you really don't want to ever see his name, just join his party. Yeah, right. And then who is this out here? Uh, Alan. Alan, yeah. Alan's yeah. been sitting out there with no name on this on top of him either. It's all good. It's all good. I got him. I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got him. It's all good. So Take great information us. coming out there. I'm guessing that the contract's finally been signed. So it's uh, been officially released for everybody. And of course, there is an updated uh, forum post out there for you, uh, giving you uh, the information as well as uh, the resurrection link on the web, uh, on the forums and the uh, hotel number and the contact who they're working with down there. Um, so if you have any questions and you need to call the hotel directly, phone number's right there for you. And of course, if you need more detailed information, you can reach out to myself, uh, Ezekiel Cooper, or any member of the uh, SodaCon team, and uh, we'll, we'll get you pointed in the right direction. So meanwhile, totally out of today's norm, what are we going to do here? Uh, we're going to... Why don't we talk about Chris's daily work blog real quick? Since well, that's short <laughs> the fact that yes, does he even have a post for today? No. Yesterday oh, he's he, in the middle of an AMA right now. Hey, so, it I mean, doesn't hello. mean he couldn't be answering this stuff. Uh, so yesterday he did say that he missed a couple of blog updates due to just being head down in work stuff. Lots of performance work. Some is paying off. Other stuff. Yeah. Load times continue to improve, but mostly just after the first scene or two, he can't figure out why, a way to come up with a way to reproduce the difference between shader variants and the built client and the outside of the built client. Uh, this means we're still getting some hitching, but mostly just on scene load and just once per variant we've missed. Hmm. It uh, means a little bit more tweaking, and hopefully they'll be able to find what's causing that hitching. Yeah, and so and so yesterday he was also taking off his performance hat to work on features and balance for release 43. And first up is balancing the various long duration buffs. And that's right, long oh, what they duration. duration what are they gonna do? Negative this something. Is, well, he made that change. Uh, earlier this release i believe and it stunned a lot of players uh, a lot of players actually thought it was bugs they were like dude my buff's like an hour long now is that right absolutely it's gonna add negatively putting in no, long buffs not the negative thing. though negative effects i think 
Well, I was going to say earlier, we were talking about artifacts uh, when I was showing you the glass cannon setup. And uh, <laughs> one of the things I've noticed with those artifacts is that you might get a nice bonus, but everyone has some kind of penalty. And it's been my experience that the artifacts are not worth using because the loss is just such an awful trade-off for the bonus that it's just not worth it, in my opinion. I'll take it and use it. How's yeah. negative 200 Earth for you, for instance? How, How how's that? negative 100 healing? How about that one? What's, uh, what, what's, are you talking about your oh, Ring of the Lich life, kin? Yeah, the, the Ring of the Lich, that's right. Negative that's 100 one. attunement. <laughs> garbage for, for life yeah. you don't need life when you're doing death well anybody that tries to heal it at all. Yeah, right. apparently you, you haven't been all. down in the spectral mines fighting undead while you're trying to be a, a necro right. have you well you well, don't do like... undead with death well stay the hell out then is that it don't go anywhere like... could i play a song how many different scenes do you know of the well i know there's quite a few but just about everywhere that's worthwhile hunting has undead in it. Mm. I don't know. Interesting yet. conundrum. Level 80, don't go to Solus Bridge, I'm telling Spectral you. Can I, can I play a song, please? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, by all means. I get this on loop because we got Thank nobody. Because he's lazy. And he couldn't figure out how to type no, in play I don't stones. Hear with stones. What are you talking about? I've actually played four songs throughout today's show, believe it or not. And looped them all. Not that you heard any of them, because you can't hear anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I love you, Scrota. I love you. You had to say something. <laughs> I know. That's what he gets for talking shit, right? Yeah, let's see. One thing we can do about that. Can we do that? What? It doesn't work. Oh, you just moved. I stood up. <laughs> Let me go get the soapbox. No piano for you. <laughs> no well, there's only you. four of them around here. You could definitely find another one. I know. That's <laughs> uh, that's singing now. He could probably play them faster than I can pick them up. So. Oh, and the sun. Anyway. <laughs> Moving right along. About mm -hmm. that time, we got to start winding up today's show. Uh, do we have any you, more questions you, you or commentary? You killed it. You killed it. Just got started. We didn't, we didn't even cover anything on the Ask Me Anything, but we'll get to that okay. maybe tomorrow. It's a beautiful thing. A, yeah. a show where we actually get derailed by actual questions. I'm not going to complain. And yeah, I know. It's you. awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We don't get it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing this show is completely unscripted. That's right. We, we, have no plan no any we don't follow no stinking rules around here. We don't mean no stinking no, no, rules. We'd have to fire a script writer is what had happened. Yeah. I mean, we are probably writer? the only guys crazy enough to go live on stream and give the audience control of the soundboard. Okay. Which they're very good about not abusing. Some days, some, some days. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, 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 the, the, the best day was the, the day that I actually set it up to. Uh, Unzip it. Um, uh, for the, the fart sound for Led Zepp entering and exiting. Coming, coming and going. And then he kept on crashing Discord. <laughs> and it's like, what the time. hell is going on? What's it's going like, on? who is it's doing what? this? And it was I actually Led Zepp. I could hear it. <laughs> That was that was just, that was fun. That was like that. You dick. I was six ten. Right. Did you hear? Yeah. Some, uh, we have to add, uh, and we haven't yeah. added uh, Scrota's new sound bite yet. Have you? Are, are you talking about the nah, one he posted I, yesterday? That's the one. That's good. Right, that hear. one wasn't that good though. I know. It's the beginning had to cut off the beginning, so. No, I can go get that sound clip. Come on, I got all the audio. Get it. Get Clean it, it up, make it good. Right. We'll, get a, we'll get a sound bite out of it. We'll, we'll get one for Jack and one for myself, just to be fair. <laughs> and you two can. Hey, can we, we need to it. register I, a new radio station. Get it up. That's right. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, we need to register a new radio station. Um, this is for Justin. 
WZFG? Yeah, well, WZFG is uh, WRFB's sister station. Didn't you know that? <laughs> yeah. Guess who came up with that one? Yes, we know. I, I WZFG. Know. That's right. Zero, Zero fucks, fucks given. given. Oh. <laughs> what well, is that time to talk the about the Z. calendar? Don't forget that's on nbnn.info. It is also available on the NBNN app, which is available in the store for your electronic device. Be it the Amazon App Store, the Android or Google Play Store, or the Apple iTunes Store. We, we can't get that one right to save our lives, can we? Just oh, go out to the yeah. Play Store for your device and get the NBN and Trinity Avatar app. That's yeah. all you got to do. It's Th then free. from there, you yeah. get all this information in the palm of your hand. Take it with you. You can listen to our show when you're on the run. You can listen to the radios while you're driving in the car or just hanging out at work. You can put your earbuds in and uh, tune on in. You can read up on the forums you can study soda map you can check out the wiki you can go to soda help all sorts of stuff through this nbn and shroudity avatar app including the shroudity avatar community calendar all times on the community calendar are central standard time in the real world real world but we prefer to refer to it as nude britannia time nude britannia yes at 12s and 6s around the clock, two idiots interpret the news on WR. Mm -hmm. Idiots. A little, oh, right. little show called Lunch with Laz and Jack. Lust? Lunch with Lust? Well, there's a lot of lust involved. He is a lust. <laughs> now, the Tech Talk Tuesday is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon. Um, I don't know whether or not that's going to happen Tech with the Talk Ask Sunday. Me with the Ask Me Anything going on. At 2 p.m., we do have the Paxlayer Town Manager Hour. That's where you can join Sean Silverfoot and ask him about anything related to Paxlayer or any of the boroughs that... It's an is. AMA with Sean. Yes, it is. At 3 p.m., the EVL is doing a dungeon crawl. It's the Euro EVL dungeon Guild. crawl, baby. Yeah. And that is going to be joining Wintermute Off Cough. And that starts on the overworld map outside of Owl's Head. At 7 p.m., the EVL Guild is having another dungeon run. And this one's actually going to be hosted by Zinni. Starts in the same place outside overworld map. Hey, yo, I got a dungeon crawl for you. Yeah, it, but if you if you'd prefer to like hang out in the Hidden Vale and go to Braemar and go do a dungeon run of Chillblain's Compendium of Pain and Suffering. Pain. The and Jade Dragons so have their weekly dungeon run scheduled, and that's with Malhari. Yes. Suffering. I love that place. Die. Especially when they used to give deeds and stuff. Oh, uh, there used to be some great stuff down in that that, that 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 loot table of like two hundred thousand gold every single run. Yeah. yeah. At seven p.m. on W. Ball scrolls. Another yeah. life. Yeah. That was another life. Mm -hmm. I know that that was way before persistence. Persistence. Yep. The seventies at seven. At ten p.m. on Avatar's Radio Temper Tantrum T Days with I have no idea, and I don't think they don't either. At, also at 10 p.m., the final event of the evening is going to be on WRFB. WRFB. And that's the record room. And that's our community -E calendar for this. WRFG. That's our community calendar for this June 20th Taco Tuesday in Shroud of the Avatar. Tuesday. I'd like to interject. Yeah. What do you want to do? second here. I just want to say that... Uh, um, that the schedule hopefully will be posted publicly uh, by tomorrow evening for the lineup for the 48-hour stream starting sun Saturday at midnight and carrying on through uh, for the next 48 hours. And that should be posted on the forums so that people will be able to see that and y'all will be able to review that. Very good. Now, is uh, people still signing up for that? Do you have a full uh, set of... Uh... Streamers well, there's a, there's a couple a of update on that. There's a couple of spots that are are a little lacking on on streamers, but uh, 
Signups are pretty much over. I'm trying to get everything uh, all put together based upon what the availability of the people and and I started compiling that last night because they had all weekend, they had Friday, they had Thursday, uh, they had several days, and and I just try to get it all together, and and it's looking good. It's it's looking real good actually. Very yeah, good. Done a really great job on that. I want to tell them thank you uh, for doing all that work. Um, and for those folks who just uh, need to know what we're talking about, this is a 48-hour live stream to uh, benefit the Airy Fund and the Trevor Project. Uh, this month's uh, project is, of course, uh, the LBGT um, Suicide Prevention Save One Life or Just One Life uh, cause. And, of course, for more information on that, you can go out to the Airy Fund and check out all the information out there at the airyfund.org. I thought I had that up on screen. Nope. And uh, go out and check that out. Uh, of course, there are rewards available for donations. Uh, donations are also tax deductible. So check out all the information there. Uh, you can uh, get yourself everything from cloaks to T-shirts to the collectible poster for this cause. Uh, and you can get all that information out at airyfund.org. And, of course, moving right along be the show if we didn't have uh, to thank our sponsors out there and of course uh, a lot of people out there joining up and um, one of the one of the people who has been a sponsor and uh, was gone and is back and made a comment the other day we gotta of course remember coil more wands putting the magic in your hand oh my Arius coil more is added again uh, not only is he back in business, but he's live streaming. He's become a member of the crew, a member of the radio staff, and uh, Coil More Wands. If you need some uh, extra added touch, go see Coil More Wands. Just look up Arius Coil More in game. Uh, good folks over at the Ockenshire and Markham Farms, the official sponsors of NBNN for all your wholesale reagents, vegetables, ale, and much, much more located in Dawn's Keep, just south of Central Brittany. And of course, if you need it in a rush, contact Thex. He'll get you hooked up or go out to the marketplace. They got stuff available on the store for immediate purchase. Relics by Rilled, RelicsbyRilled.com for all of your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag. If you need t-shirts, you need hats, you need patches, you need drinkware, you need a coffee mug, you need a bumper sticker, go check out RelicsbyRilled.com and you can get all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag. And if you want to save a couple bucks and you check out, use the promo code NBNN. When you check out, you'll save 10%. When you check out RelicsByRill.com. BMC Guild wants you to come on down and check out Market Road over in Black Rock Cove. Located in the Quell region right next to the Etzer Mines for your mining convenience as well. SodaMap.com, Jacob White, knocking it out of the park. Uh, so, so much so that they put it in the game. So check out SodaMap.com. Uh, so if you need have any, have any problems getting around... Soda Maps, the answer. And of course, last but not least, Shroud Marketplace, ShroudMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. And of course, Jack's going to tell you about it. All those new products that are just added to a certain somebody's. You, you mean the, the, those, those products added by market. Weddings and More by Laz? And <laughs> if you're. Don't forget, like, all of the vendors are. I mean, each of each item is from a different vendor on Shroud Marketplace. There's currently over 50 players that have started putting stuff up for sale on Shroud Marketplace, and so they're responsible for maintaining their own in inventory as well as their own pricing. And you know what? You can buy or sell anything game related on Shroud Marketplace. So if you're looking for, you know what? You need that crafting pav pavilion. Uh, for your lot and or if you're looking for a lot deed to put it on anymore you're looking for an artifact yeah, that's right anything can be bought or sold on shroud marketplace if you're interested in registering for an account just click on register i got dumped to radio what uh -uh. 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, what? Well, y- y- your internet connection uh, died. Oh, the the radio dropped. Uh, don't forget, if you're interested in becoming uh, a vendor, refresh. Radio looks fine here. Hey, hey, I, I just received the text message, man. If you're Ding. if you want it, if you want to become a, a vendor, just click on the vendor registration on the left hand side. Start adding your items, just like Lass has done with his shop. Or if you're looking for artifacts, game gold, anything and everything can be bought or sold as long as it does not violate the terms of service. Yay! Shroud Marketplace. Yay! Well, violate that's my terms. I'm going I've to be. I've actually uh, broken out the storefront and uh, put a couple of uh, my items out there for sale. Yep. Uh, of course, one of them is the Rare Village Pavilion. Uh, you can no longer get your hands on these. And I happen to have a couple floating around I've been holding on to. I'm letting one go. And, of course, uh, an Obsidian Village Tower Home. Mm-hmm. And, of course, a POT Town Lot Deed. Cheaper than the add-on store. Most of the stuff you're going to find in the marketplace is going to be cheaper than when you're going to find it in the store itself, kids. So don't forget to shop shroudmarketplace.com. And of course, that brings us to the time of the show that saddens us the most. And we have to say goodbye and thank you guys for all your love and support out gotta, there. Got to thank Thanks. the most important people around here. That's right. And that's you guys. Yeah. Is uh, we love this shit. We love you guys, and of course, we love what we do here in Trinity Avatar. And if you like what we do, you know, don't forget to just show a little love. Come on in, tell us you like what you see. Uh, if you really like what you see, go out and throw a little love our way. You can go out to Jack Stream at twitch.tv slash Cinesis and throw a couple coins his way. You can Cheers. go out to uh, <laughs> patreon.com. Slash NBNN, become a sponsor and become a patron of the show. We would appreciate it. But uh, we got to thank you guys for all the support over the years. We've been here over two years bringing you a show five days a week. And we'll continue bringing that to you for as long as we can. Hopefully many more years to come. But with that, we're going to wrap it up and get out of here today. I'm Lance. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. Stay tuned, NBN, for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here in Sun Trinity Avatar. And we'll be back tomorrow. Till then, we'll see you later. Yay. 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 This network bandwidth is low. Stop downloading porn. Stream it. No need to download those things anymore.